Good morning and welcome to this daily devotion from Cram and Kirk in Edinburgh on Thursday the 16th of July. Wherever you join us from today, welcome. We begin with words from Romans 5 verse 8 in which Paul says, But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let us turn to God in prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, speak to us now and open our hearts so that we may love you more than any precious jewel. Open our eyes to see the beauty of your creation is far superior to any painting humanity can paint. Be with us now, wherever we are, as we pause to worship you. Amen. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 through to 21, in which Jesus tells us not to store up treasures on earth. The Oxford English Dictionary defines the noun treasure as wealth or riches stored or accumulated, especially in the form of precious metal, gold or silver coin or anything valued and preserved as precious. As a verb, it defines to treasure as to put away or lay aside anything of value for preservation, security or future use. Two key words that stand out in relation to treasure are value and storage or setting apart. A treasure is something that we value highly. Treasure can include family mementos or words of important figures, or indeed those whom we love. A treasure is so more important than just monetary value. Treasures have emotional value. We take pleasure and seek happiness in the things that we treasure, in our hearts and in our lives. Jesus invites us today to reflect on what we treasure, whether material possessions, financial security, worldly power, or relationships made right, for they reveal where our heart is the core of identity. The heart set on heavenly treasure seeks first God's own presence and power, and in the process, We take pleasure and find joy in Christ in our lives. So listen anew as we reflect on the treasures of our life and listen to the word of God. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen and thanks be to God. So let's turn to God now and pray. Let us pray. Caring and loving God, We come today from around the world, in our homes and in our gardens, to stop and worship you, to pray and to give you praise. Caring and loving God, we give thanks for carers, for those unsung heroes who go into homes to wash, cook, clean and care, for those in our community who can't do it alone, who are there to comfort the lonely. Bless them with your comfort now. We pray too for all who are anxious, for those who are fearful of the outside world, having spent 15 weeks or more in the security and comfort of their own homes, Be with them as they dare to take those first steps outside. 
Bless us with the patience as we encourage those we know and offer them support instead of condemnation in their anxiety. Caring and loving God, we give our thanks and praise to all who work in the caring profession as they look after our loved ones when we aren't able to, and for all the staff who bring a smile to the faces of so many people. In a moment, silence, bring our own prayers and our own thanks. We bring all our prayers spoken out loud or in the privacy of our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Many thanks for joining me this morning and please do join me tonight at 7.15 live on Facebook for another Pause for Thought. Until we meet again, may God bless us all with his love, with his peace and with his comfort. Bye-bye.